Hi guys, welcome back to uh, another video. So today we're going to be looking at how I go about deckling. I apologise for the length of the video. I want to um, capture every step without really skipping on anything, just so you can fully appreciate the process in which I take and um, hopefully it will be of some benefit. So we should hopefully be getting a look similar to this where it looks like it's painted, I'll just try and get a better shot there where it looks like it's painted on um, and you can see like the zimmeret coming through Let's see if I can get that's a better shot there, you can sort of make that out but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today um, so yeah, please feel free to follow along and hopefully um, you'll learn a thing or two Okay, so before we start looking at putting the decals down, we want to make sure that we're gloss coating the area or the model in which we want to put our decals down on. So I've gloss, gloss coated the turret here. As you can see, it's nice and shiny. Um, so I'm putting that to one side. I'm then going to prepare the tools in which I need to put the decals down properly. So I've got a paintbrush, got a little earbud, a bit of kitchen towel, my decals, I've got micro set and micro sole, and I've got a little tub of water. So I'm just going to put all this to one side. The first thing I'm going to do is put my first decal, so I'm going to put one of these numbers in, try and get it face down, and I'm going to let the water absorb that decal and give it a minute or two. So the water doesn't have to be um, su super hot, you can just be like a lukewarm sort of um, temperature and you really really, depending on the decal, these are battlefront decals so you, they're pretty good, um, actually they're really good so you really really need to leave them for about a minute and you'll be able to test to make sure that they've, um, they're have they starting to come away nicely without without tearing. So you don't want to force them away from the uh, backing. Just let them soak for a little while. Don't rush the process. But whilst that uh, is soaking, we're going to move to our micro set. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just apply a thin it can be pretty moderate actually, a uh, layer of micro set. So I'm just going to coat that on here. And what this is going to do is going to help the decal adhere to the surface. So that's really important for these decals because sometimes they can move around uh, quite easily without this, if you're just putting them straight on um, with water. So this micro set will help with that process. So I've coated the rough area um, with this micro set. And I'm going to put that down. Just going to put the lid back on there. Probably good to get a holder for these. Um, as you can tell, I like to live a little dangerously. So they're probably going to go flying at some stage. But touch wood, I haven't had any, any issues as yet. Alright, so now I you can see I haven't even cleaned my brush, that's okay, because I'm just going to be putting this uh, decal straight on uh, from the water onto the side of the uh, turret here where the micro set's been put down. So I'm just going to test this decal and see if it wants to come away. See, I'm not sure if you can see that in the screen, but I'll just show you now. That decal has come away nicely. I'm just going to remove some of the excess water there. And I'm just going to lightly place that on there like that. So, with this particular turret, I'm wanting to position this this numbering quite low. So, and if it starts becoming a bit difficult to move around, just wet that brush a little bit more and then just push that down into the rough position that you want it. Depending on the size of the deco, I mean you don't need to use a brush, you could use um, your finger or your hand to, 
to move it along but for these these size decals I'm just going to use a, a quite a thick brush here and I'm just gonna plop that into place um, I think it just needs to come across just a touch more okay so I'm fairly happy with that um, that's the rough area in which I want it um, especially at this size I'm pretty happy with how that's come out so I'm just going to dry off the brush a little bit. I'm going to use this bit of kitchen towel. And I'm just going to try and get some of that water, excess water and micro set off that decal now. Just so it doesn't move around too much because the next step is to go back to our micro set and we're going to put a layer of this over the top of the decal so let's just in this point here I'll dab, dab it down because you want to whilst it's still adhering to the surface you don't want that decal moving around too much so I've coated that around there so we will leave that for two minutes and then we will come back for the next stage okay so after a couple of minutes um, we're then going to grab our cotton bud so what we're going to be doing here is just rolling over the top of the decal uh, just removing any of that excess micro um, set or water that's trapped underneath the decal all right so don't be going too hard you want to press in the middle of the decal and you want to roll the reason you want to do this because you don't want to drag the decal for a couple of reasons one you don't want to rip the decal and two you don't want to move it you've spent all that time trying to get it into position and i'm sure many of us will know that um some of these decals can be rather small or tricky getting them into the position that you want them in can can prove to be quite difficult at times so just roll that cotton bud over the top of them pressing down I'd like sort of a, a moderate kind of press not too heavy but not light enough that you're not squeezing any of that excess micro set out and then you'll start to see it's starting to conform, but it's, it's, it's not really, but it's getting a lot of that excess fluid out of that decal there. All right, so once that step's done, we wanna move on to the microsole. So this is not a step that you really need to worry about as such if you're plain, painting onto a flat, sorry, if you're putting your decal onto a flat surface like the one show now if you can see that however with this one I actually once the process had dried I'd actually used a knife and cut through the panel lines just slowly just press the knife on the top and actually press that decal down and I actually did use this micro sole for that process um, but we'll talk about that in more detail in a minute but if those panel lines weren't there all we would have to do is use this micro set. So micro set, apply on to the surface, put the decal on, um, dry it, add some micro set over the top, squeeze that excess micro set out, and then you'd put another gloss coat over the top of the model. And that will be done. But for the sake of these tricky ones where there's zimmer in play, you want these decals to look like they've been painted on. And the way we achieve that is by using microsol so microsol is actually going to melt that decal onto that surface so it's going to start to conform to that irregular surface quite nicely so we're going to crack open the microsol and we're going to dip our paintbrush into there and not as much as we would do with the micro set because this can actually damage your paint if you start letting it pour so just make sure you're not coating the the decal on and same thing, I'm just going to dab away 
at the decal, around the sides, and over the top of it. And I'm going to let that soak. It won't take long guys, it, you'll start to notice uh, the decal melting or conforming to that surface pretty quickly, almost like uh, little bubbles starting to appear underneath the decal. Um, but give it a chance to dry. All right, don't go thinking that it's going to work miracles uh, in the first couple of minutes. You'll start to notice that it's uh, taking shape. Depending on the decal, depending on the quality of the decal, and depending on the surface that you're um, applying the decal to, you might need a couple of coats of Microsol. Okay, so if you don't feel satisfied after the first coat, don't be afraid to put two or three extra coats on there. Um, it all really depends on the quality of the decal. I found with these uh, Battlefront ones, that it only needs a couple of coats. Um, I'll just grab one of the ones that's currently work in progress. So this one needs its flat clear spray over the top of it. So not a gloss spray, just, just a clear flat spray. And this will be finished, but you can, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but you can make out that the deco was conformed to the zimmer. So it actually looks like it's been painted on. I'll try and get a clearer shot if I can. It's a bit shiny because it hasn't had that last spray yet. But you can see it's bumpy there. So that's what we're trying to get here. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes. You might be able to see that it's just started to take shape in some of those grooves there. Sorry, the, my camera and lighting isn't the best, but you can make that out. So to sort of help it on its way, we're gonna grab the trusty earbud and we're just gonna press down slightly and give it a little extra encouragement. Now I can see here, I can actually make out the zimmer underneath these decals. Now I can see the bumps coming through. So don't be afraid to give it a couple of minutes and press down with your earbud and try and get the process rolling a little bit quicker. So I'm pretty happy with that in all honesty, um, but I will give it one more just to make sure that um, it's really given us that sort of painted on look. So I'm gonna give it one more coat. And same thing again, guys, just gonna give it a couple of minutes. So, and um, if it needs a little bit more encouragement, We'll give it some, and yeah. The process is actually really quick, in all honesty. If you're doing a lot of decals at once, you can just keep moving from decal to decal, and by the time you've done four or five, you can go back and repeat the process um, on the next step. These products are expensive, so I'm not gonna lie, they're quite expensive compared to like the Vallejo, um, gloss coat and um, decal softener and stuff like that. But I find the results you get with Microset and Microsol are a lot better than those Vallejo offerings. Perhaps I'm using them wrong. But um, if you can get your hands on these and you can afford them, I would recommend trying them, especially if, if you want a really good finish on your decals and ones, this, um, Microsol especially, I think is fantastic. For somebody like me that paints a lot of German armor, that has a lot of um, zimmer um, and difficult places to apply that decal to, you'll have wonderful results with this if used properly. When I first started using this, I was using it in a very um, 
different manner and I was getting some shocking results. Um, but once I started using it in the way I'm, I'm teaching you guys now, um, you should get some awesome results with this one. So yeah, it's just the set of two. And in the meantime, I've been doing the exact same thing on the uh, other side. So this, again, has had the microsol applied. Uh, it's been a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to do exactly the same thing whilst we're waiting for the other one to, to dry. And I can see that it's, again, conforming to the Zimmer really nicely. And don't just roll in one angle <laughs> like uh, you might be thinking I, I was doing in that particular shot. You want to try and um, change it up, especially with Zimmer and stuff, because there's going to be bits of that micro sole trapped underneath. Okay, so that one looks good, so we can put another coat on there. And then you'll see that I'll just have it on again. And now, moving back to this, the original side that we were working on. I'm gonna do the exact same thing once more by just rolling it. Different angles to really press that decal down. And hopefully you'll be able to make out the zimmer on zimmer it through the decal. I'll try and attach a better photo if this video doesn't come out as nicely. Um, but the next step would be to go and apply a gloss coat over the top of this. That gloss coat is then going to put a coat of a gloss coat over the top of the turret, and it's going to get rid of any of the film on the outside of the decal. So when you're applying the decal, you'll get that rectangle for using this one, for example. And you'll get that rectangly sort of um, glassy looking film around the side. It's actually pretty much gone with that microsole, but to make sure we've definitely eliminated it, I'm going to put that gloss coat over the top of it. And then once we're happy with that, I'm going to then apply a wash, go over the turret, paint all the necessary bits, the tracks, this, this bag or whatever it is, etc. And then I'm going to put a matte varnish over the top of it to get rid of the gloss and these decals will look like they've been painted on. They won't be um, glossy obviously because we put a matte coat over the top of it and you won't see any of that film and the results you get you'll be incredibly happy with. Um, decaling is one of those things that can be really annoying if you don't have the right technique. Uh, but if you can master the technique and it it will work out really well. Some people make it sound like it's really simple. I really struggled for quite a few years trying to master it and I still like to see how people decal without micro set and micro sole just so I can get an idea. But from my own experience, I really do like micro set and micro sole. But yeah, so, so that's it. So, um, I really hope this has been of benefit or um, has helped some of you. Uh, please feel free to uh, like and subscribe. I really do appreciate all the support that you've been giving me um, recently. And I will now attach a photo of some of the tanks that are applicable to this platoon that I've done uh, before this video so you can see the uh, finished result. So thank you very much guys and goodbye.